once lived a man who was very afraid of death. All the time he used to think I could die at any moment. What should I do? How can I avoid death? So he prayed and made friends with God of death. One day while talking he said to the god of death you do not leave anyone some day you will take me with you right god of death replied the one who is born in this world has to die this is the eternal law of the universe that's why my hands are tied i have to do it but if there is anything other than that you want me to help with then tell me the man said i only want you to write me a letter a few days before coming to take me with you so that i can complete all my work which is still pending i can explain everything to my children hand down all the responsibility and business to them and use the rest of my time to worship god before leaving this world god of death smiled and said sure Why not? I will send you four letters, not one. Don't worry. I'll give you a lot of time between the four letters so that you can do the work consciously. The man was very happy. He didn't feel any fear of death like he used to have. He thought If I complete all my tasks before leaving then the god will also welcome me. Years passed and the hour of death finally arrived. God of death came to him and said, "Friend, now your time is over. Come with me. I cannot leave you here." even for a moment the man was shocked he raised his eyebrows and asked how can you call me a friend are you not ashamed of yourself for betraying me you had promised me that you would write letters before coming but suddenly you came to take me with you without any prior notice you did not keep your promise god of death laughed and said friend i sent you not one but four letters you didn't pay attention to even one the man said what but i didn't even receive one Do you have any proof that you sent me letters? God of death said, "Yes. I have all four letters with me right now." Then showing the letters, God said, "My first letter was when your beautiful black hair turned gray. It was to warn you that you should do what you have left to do but you made your hair gray again by applying artificial color and till today my gray letters are written on your head lost in your dreams of becoming young again a few days later i sent the second letter it was when the light in your eyes began to dim still by putting thick glasses on your eyes you again started to see the world 
instead of closing your eyes from the side of the world for 2 minutes and meditating on god even after this you were not careful then i felt very sorry for your plight as a friend i sent you the third letter this letter was when your teeth were shaken and broken you did not even respond to this letter but got dentures and forcibly started savoring the material things of the world i was very sad that i am sending you warnings thinking of a way to tell you that little time has left for you but you were always ready to take a new artificial path to ignore those warnings in my last letter i sent diseases and pains but again you know everything out of ego the man started weeping after listening all these letters sent by god and started repenting and admitted that he did not read these letters full of good warnings in ignorance the man said i always kept thinking that from tomorrow i will worship god i will spend my earnings in good work but that tomorrow never came when the man did not see any way to extend his time of death he tried to bribe god by offering all the money he earned to date god of death laughed and said friend this is nothing more than dust for me wealth fame power and all this greed can subdue worldly people not me if you wanted to impress me then you should have collected a wealth of truth and good deeds this is such a wealth in front of which i could have been compelled i could have been forced to reconsider my decision but what you have is money only all your money land and property all the wealth stored in the world will be left here when you leave so friends there's only one unchanging truth we will surely die one day how much wealth we will accumulate in life how much fame we will get what kind of children we will have is uncertain but we will die one day only this one thing is fixed with birth seeing the signs of age with time we should practice living in remembrance of god